This town seems like there's really only this one tavern here. I wonder if there's a little bit more. Notice board? Definitely want to do that to get all the money that we can. Okay. Devourer contract. We've already seen those. Devourer teeth. Oh, okay. So maybe we want to keep that for the dentist too. Oh, but we can't talk to the dentist anymore right now, right? Maybe we'll go back to Vizima later on. The witch. Giant centipede contract. Chitinous giant centipede carapaces. Elven camp by the lake. I already have one. That's pretty good. Basilisk contract. We'll buy basilisk hides, well-preserved ones only. Three. I have one already right now too, don't I? From Julian. Alp contract. Oh no, I hate Alps. The Chief of Murky Waters promises to reward anyone who delivers five sets of fangs. Tobias. Wyvern egg. Oh. I just ate a few, didn't I? Oh, god damn it. Shouldn't have eaten it, I guess. Innkeeper. Okay. Oh, for the Julian one, I already did it, didn't I? Which one was that one again? I'm not too sure, but either way, I think we can just drop all these again. We don't need them. Okay, and we'll go right back in. Hello, Julian. Your mother sucks dwarf fighting or watching. Geralt? I'm here about the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. Reptile skin shoes are in fashion in Vizima, you know. We must not be too far from Vizima then, huh? I have three hides. Let me have a look. Undamaged, excellent. Here's your reward. Okay, cool. Thank you. Farewell. Make sure to invite me for your wedding, okay? I'll be back. Can I help you? So now that we got that out of the way, again, there's no other houses here. Ooh, healer's hut. Bryonia? Is that a herb I've never seen before? Wow. I have a feeling this place is really different during the day and the nighttime. Just look at the sky. I can't get over it. It's so beautiful. I feel like that's gotta be the mod too. Or did it really originally look that beautiful before the mods? So we're in the tavern right now, or by the tavern. Passage to Lakeside, Alina's house. Okay, we'll just keep wandering around here for a little bit and see what's going on. Can we go here? Oh, seems like something's going on there. Okay. Yeah, let's start with the house right in front of us. Healer. I don't think people usually appreciate me coming into their houses at midnight. Oh! Oh, what? Abigail! What time is it right now? Oh, 5 a.m., it's fine. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Well, you don't know. Don't. You know, that's a snap judgment, right? You don't know if I missed you or not. Maybe I missed your romance card. <laughs> Is that why they have a prize winning cow? Because of your formula? <laughs> oh, you have a no. Oh, the witch! The witch is you! Okay, I don't have that stuff that you want yet. Whatever you wanted. Ten devourer teeth? Not yet. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. What part about the cave are you talking about? The romance card part? Or the whole thing about how she almost got burnt? Is that tattoo new? I don't remember seeing a tattoo on her face before. Oh, huh. like I remember the stuff on her neck, but not... 
Maybe it's just been too long since I've seen her. Hey, weren't you gonna sell me a formula for this and that? Nasen salts, I still remember. You tricked me into buying your formula. Well, you can't trick me anymore, because you got nothing I need. Yeah, nasen salts, 40 orans, back when I couldn't even afford it. Look at me now. You probably wish you treated me a little bit better now, don't you, huh? Well, I don't actually need anything from you, but I guess it's not a bad thing to have seen Abigail here. It's nice to know that you're here. Nice to see a familiar face. Add that, and put that back in here, save a slot. Well, uh, I hope you have a nice life here, Abigail. How far is this from the outskirts? I didn't really expect to ever see her again, but here she is. I'm gonna steal your stuff. Ooh, doing some nighttime reading here. Hey, your house! It's been upgraded. It's a nicer house than before, isn't it? Well, good for you, good for you. Good for you, can't be a bad thing. Sorry for waking you up early. Go back to sleep. Is it daytime soon? Soon. Ish. 5 a.m. still. So this is not considered part of the village then, because she says she doesn't live in the village. That's locked. Maybe where Alina's house is, is closer to the actual village. We'll just walk along, and we'll see. Ooh, got a new ingredient there. Berber cane, lots of berber cane. There are crops. They have a lot of land here. This place is kind of like the outskirts, but a lot bigger. Yeah, we are headed to the lakeside. Do we want to go to Alina's house first? Since we're here already anyway, yeah. Oh, maybe right here, the village. Oh, the prize-winning cow! They have a cow guard? Don't worry, man, I'm not gonna steal your cow. What would I use it for? Wow, let's check it out. Why is it- the guard should be right here, not inside. Cause I'm gonna steal your cow right now. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this and- She is impressive. Look at that glistening coat! Her tail and that udder! Mm-hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Hmm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, uh, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Is that her name? Strawberry? Okay. Oh, same thing. I thought you had more dialogue. Well, it's good that you have someone guarding the prize winning cow just in case, because people steal cows around here. Yeah. <laughs> Chief's house. Tobias! Wait, so Alina doesn't live in the same house as her dad. Dang. Oh, wait, maybe this is what they meant. Maybe that's what the innkeeper meant by how- something about how he lives in one house but he stays at another one. Cause he's not here. He's not here. Fish? I'll take it. I'll take everything. Yeah. You can't stalk me. Well, we can't get out here. So it's his house, but he's not here. Because... Maybe he's in Alina's house? Oh! It said Alina's house outside, right? But when we came in, it's now Adam's house. Oh, I can't see the, the tag on it. Oh, this is pretty useful. Oh, we're on the wrong... I guess we're in the wrong house. We're in Adam's house right now. We also have the baker, prize-winning cow, Selena. Selena is Alina's sister. I remember. Yeah. Wait, wait! So basically, this village consists of the village chief, his daughter, his other daughter, the guy that his daughter likes, and like, two other people. The blacksmith and the baker. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Again, nobody here. Hmm. Do they all go out at night? Are they all- have they all woken up to go to work? Maybe that's it. 
ballads, fairy tales and stories, a collection of folk tales describing monsters, sorcerers and witchers from a simple man's point of view. No bias, maybe? Unlikely. Then the fairy said to the witcher, I will tell you what to do. Put on a pair of iron shoes, pick up an iron staff, walk in iron shoes to the end of the world, part the ground before you with the staff, and sprinkle it with tears. Walk through fire and water, do not stop, do not look back, and when your shoes wear out, and when the iron staff shatters, when the wind and the heat dry your eyes so that you cannot shed another tear, then you will have reached the world's end. You will have found what you seek and what you love, perhaps. And so the witcher walked through fire and water without looking back, but he took neither the iron shoes nor the staff. He took only his witcher's sword. He did not heed the words of the fairy, and that's a good thing, because she was an evil fairy. Ooh. Huh. A mage fairy? Hmm, we don't know. Interesting little story there. We'll have a look in the glossary later, when we visit a fireplace. Oh, yeah, Adam's house. Okay. Blacksmith? Come back later. Greetings. Hello. How can I help the gentleman? Who might you be? Master Handyman, at your service. I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and I'm a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. Do you have any... <laughs> He's probably all these things because it's a small village. They have one handyman person and that's it. Like, yeah, master handyman. Yeah. You're rather versatile. One has to survive. So I offer other services. Besides, I have an expensive hobby. A hobby? My kin and I yearned to build a flying machine. Ooh. We built several already, but none worked. We had to cover the pilot's medical expenses. I see. Yes? Do you have any political affiliations? Like Scoia'tael? No, you wouldn't be Scoia'tael because you're human. Yeah, so I guess you can- oh. Oh, this is where I get new swords, so... Okay, can I sell you my illegal sword? Hell yeah, sell you my torch. It's like I'm building my own little storage area here now. Alright, cool. Hey, you even take books? Seriously? You take everything. What? I mean, I'll, I'll sell it to you if you want it. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a random little... Yeah, okay, silver ruby signet ring. Should I sell that? I gave... I gave Triss a ring, but I didn't even keep one for myself. But the fact that I have it here, it's like I'm keeping one for myself. Yeah, I guess it's okay, whatever. 40 orins, 48 orins. All right, all right. I'll come back to you with some runes I'm later tired. on. Ooh, your wife. Oh, you guys have separate beds that are... The layout of this house is kind of weird. <laughs> Greetings, what brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Ooh. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. I'll ask you again. Any work? Yes, I'm having <laughs> terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Ooh. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus? I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I haven't seen any herbs that we don't know all about already right now, but sure. I'll take the job. Deal. Hmm. Wow. I should venture out into the fields and return with nine handfuls of shimmering dust collected from the hair of noon wraiths. I remember reading about devourers and noon wraiths in um, the book. Holy crap! Look at how many updates we have here. 
We got the book from Siegfried's house, I think. And they all look really similar. That's why I sort of remember them. Devourer. Night Witches. And then we also have... Oh, Night Wraith and Noon Wraith. Oh, yeah, these, these came in a set. They kind of look like regular women. Shimmering Dust. Alright. I'm gonna make a bold guess and say that Noon Wraiths probably only appear during the noon. Afternoon. And the night ones only appear during the night. <laughs> yeah. Skullhead. Oh, what the heck? These creature died out centuries ago, so we shouldn't see them anymore, right? Hmm. Archaeological research is the only source of knowledge about skullheads. Skeleton reconstructions make it possible to describe the creature's appearance and movement. Addressing his students, Professor Sendevoy Baron summed up research on the skullhead thusly. We are more than lucky that these bastards died out. Eh, but we have a bestiary entry for it though, so I feel like we might run into it sooner or later. Maybe, like, can you bring it back to life with necromancy or something? <laughs> kind of a scary thought. Okay, you had more. Master Witcher. Ooh. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. I have other specialties. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? I can't tell if she's being nice or hitting on me. <laughs> Gladly. There you are, bless you. Thank you. Aw, you're very kind. Thank you. Farewell. Did you actually give me something? Oh, I got pork from you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're mad about your husband cheating on you, so you wouldn't cheat on your husband, right? I mean, that just would be the... that just wouldn't be right. Right? Right? Chicken and cheese. That I'm taking, but the actual thing is still here. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for your gifts. Ah. Yeah, 6 a.m. People are starting to come out and go to work. Hmm. Witcher, those noon wraiths keep us from work in the fields. Well, not for free, I know. May that miser Hoffman part with some coin to end this problem. Uh, actually, the blacksmith's wife was telling me about that. Where did the noon wraiths come from? They are midday demons, appearing when the sun reaches its zenith. Even children know that. I'm happy to learn more. Noon wraiths are born of heat, grief, and the plowboy's sweat drops. Ew. They dance in the sun and draw in careless wanderers. No man has ever survived a dance with the noon wraiths. They depart when the sun sets and return when the sun reaches high in the sky again. Thanks for the tale. Where do they go? During the night, where do they go? I kind of wonder. Wedding guest! I'm Julian's kin. I'm pleased to meet the famous White Wolf. Finally, someone with some respect around here. Yeah, the sun's coming up. Perfect then, for us to see the noon wraiths when we go out into the fields. Oh, uh, which house am I missing? I'm looking for Alina's house right now. It's around here somewhere, isn't it? Come from afar, see no signs of a wedding. It's... Oh, come from afar, see no signs of a wedding? It should be happening soon, to my knowledge. I hope the elves leave this place as soon as possible. I actually haven't seen a single... How interesting. I haven't seen an elf around here, so I don't know what you're talking about. Come from How come I can't go into Alina's house? Hey, Baker. You followed the aroma of my fresh bread? You could say that. All my goods contain finest flour and a secret ingredient from a grateful nymph. A virgin's here. <laughs> I need something. How may I help? Give me all your bread. Have any other secret ingredients? Sadly, though I know one recipe I haven't been able to try. What's that? Can't say. I would need white honey, though I know not what that is. I have that. I have that. Pretty damn sure I do. Yeah. White honey! 
Incredible! I can now try my secret recipe. Can I? Take the doll and go before I change my mind. I got a doll from him? What? Are women. you serious? I just gave him a potion for a sugar doll? Seriously? I should have kept the sugar doll. What? Give it back. I'm I want my potion back. And I wasn't even done talking to you yet either. Gosh. So I guess now I just gotta raid your house because you've been very rude to me. I'm taking all your bread. It's all mine. All of it. All your vodka. Nope. You're so poor. Your house sucks. Oh, but maybe now you want to talk to me, huh? How may I help? Yeah. You know what witches do? Of course. Witches are like sorcerers, but worse. Worse? Yeah. Their balls are wilted. Hmm. I'll leave. Got one in the family? Ooh, bad luck. It, oh, he doesn't... He can't even tell that I'm a witcher, even though my hair is a pretty abnormal color. Where the heck am I? I dislike all these visitors from afar. Getting ready for the wedding? Everybody's here for the wedding. <laughs> I feel like that should be a good thing for, a uh, Selena. Hello? For a small village, because it gets all nice and, you know, a lot of people oh, walking around. It's got to be good for business. Yes? Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Wow. Oh, how I hate that nymphette. Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe, I suffer for the masses, Adam. <laughs> how pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. This is a new low. I have the ring. Show me. It must be more beautiful than Alina's engagement ring. How did I even get involved in all this? All I did was talk to you and now you're throwing yourself at me? You said something about a, a ring with a really large diamond, right? Oh shoot, I have one on my hand right now, but I can't see my hand. Crap, she's gonna get mad at me. I was just gonna give her my silver ruby signet ring. Oh well. We'll achieve nothing that way. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not. You're the one who wants me, okay? I'm totally okay with not having you. Yes? <laughs> I have the ring. Show me. Yes. It's, it's kind of beautiful. I gave a similar one to Triss. My wife? My future wife? That's the ring. So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. But... Kiss me. All right. <laughs> I didn't even finish talking to her yet. Oh no, now it's gonna become a love pentagon. So if I have this straight here, what was it like again? Oh, what's happening here? How untrue that revenge tastes better served cold. I'm glad you're pleased. See ya. <laughs> she, she's not pleased at all. Oh! Hi, Selena's dad. I hope we weren't disturbing you. What was I gonna say just now? I was in the middle of something. Um, yeah. I forgot what their relationship was like. So, Alina likes Adam, but she's going to get married to Julian. And Selena likes Julian, which is why she's so upset at Alina. I think that was it. Why is uh, Tobias in Selena's house? Not his own I'm house? I'm getting old. Yes? Wanna go at it again? 
I'd like to talk to you. I'm in no mood. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Oh. Ha -ha. I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> yourself. Beastie Bater, what brings you here? Beastie Bater. All right. I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesima. I feel like he would anger some Vodianoi really quickly doing that. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? About what that was... <laughs> That was such a vague description. I don't even know what you want, but I'm guessing it's some flavor of a wraith. Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. Hmm. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working, and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. The reason you want Alina to get married to Julian is more of a... Um... A familial standing kind of reason, right? So I feel like Selena getting married to Julian would be okay too, because she's also your daughter. And the only thing that really matters here is that Julian becomes your son-in-law. Is my understanding. Didn't we just do this one? No? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay, sure. I see. There's also the fish people. A scourge on our lives. How so? They got vicious, driving us away from the water, wounding some of us, and killing a few. Julian knows more. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? I don't like that nickname. Farewell. That's worse than Whitey. Okay, well, you guys have a nice meal here while I GTFO out of your house. Where is this house? This is Selena's house. Okay, so we'll have to remember that Tobias is here for whatever reason. Where are we now? We still haven't met Alina yet. No. I want to meet her. Apparently if we go straight this way, we should be meeting her. Can't get the barrel. No! Random hut? With... Not a single person in it? Fairy tales and stories. Oh. Vodka. No one's in here. Hmm. Alright. I can steal your chicken. Oh, my inventory is getting full again. What happened to not picking up food? I don't know what happened to that. Okay. Right. So if I want to go talk to Alina here. Hello. Oh, my back aches. Yet no rain clouds threaten. Will this drought never end? Is that a thing? It always rained in Vizima, and now here it never rains? God. Selena? Cow buff. Cow buff? You'll only bring trouble. A true queen. You guys here to look at the cow? Look here! A, a champion so cow! Fun. Oh, well, have fun? Maybe I should meet Where is Alina? Alina's house is... Yeah, there's quite a few people here now, huh? What was there's that? Alina's house. Good morning. Greetings. 
I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Depends. Will you sleep with me if I say that? Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? Oh, I forgot about the part with Alvin. Yeah, you, you can tell that she's important because she actually has her own unique character design. <laughs> you taking care of Alvin? Yes, he has such beautiful big eyes. Mm -hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. What? Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selina can be found anywhere. Your fiancé is spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Hmm. Treacherous vixen! <laughs> You're talking about your sister, aren't you? Can I review this whole thing? I think Dandelion might have talked to us about it when we first came into the village. Yeah, but like, how did... How did Alvin even fall into this lady's hands? Triss teleported him here and he just kind of wandered into the house, or what? Yeah, how did he ever even end up here? We don't know. I guess we'll find out now. Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we gonna kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Oh my Boy, god. I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Wow, this racism starts young. I should speak with Julian. That's actually the main quest, so I'm just gonna let it go by. Oh my god. Wait, Alvin? You told me nothing about how you ended up here. He's gone! <laughs> Why do you seek me? <laughs> uh, uh, Has Alvin been behaving strangely? He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? Ghosts? Aw. Children that are the source, I feel like, um... I don't really know what Alvin can do. Alvin can see the future, can't he? He can tell prophecies and stuff. So maybe that doesn't bode well for Alina and company. Farewell. Well, it's none of my business. Once I'm done here, I'm gonna get out and never come back. Cause I don't care about any of you. Whoa, that's way too much food. What am I doing, man? Way too much. No, gotta leave it. Gotta leave all of it. There's Alvin. Yes? So how did you end up here? Yeah! How did you get to Murky Waters? I was learning the Elder Language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men. Angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. Oh my god. The man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to a friend in Kovir, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Mm-hmm. 
And then she kicked him between the legs and he started crying. And the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. I ran and they chased me and I was running so fast. But then I tripped and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. So Alvin doesn't have a good control over his own powers. That's why they need to be taken care of by sorcerers and sorceresses in the first place. Uh, I don't know what he did here, but he somehow just ended up here. Hmm. So while we were in the Salamandra hideout, Triss was busy holding off the professor? Man in glasses. That's not the wet. And man, sounds like they weren't having a good time. Although right now, Triss, I guess she must still be in Vizima. Maybe? Hmm. You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. I wish Geralt would explain why he should stop playing that game. Women. Adam. Greetings, I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes? Yeah, I love how you profess your love for Alina right in front of me. Right in front of everybody in the town. Even though you know she's getting married. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. <laughs> and marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. What? Don't say bye. Well, no, 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 no. Adam, no! Adam! No! My man! Yes? Any elves around? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help him, but the she-elf leader refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. Full of pride, those elves. I'm not done with you, Alvin. Don't go back to bed! Yes? How's your poem? Oh, oh, <clears throat> Your hands fine and slender, your hips big and tender, all night and all day, spin my head a painful way. Enough. Speak no more. Yes? <sighs> Maybe change up the word painful. That doesn't sound very romantic. Are you checking out your fingers? <laughs> Bye. Well, it was nice meeting you, Adam. Hmm. Kind of a weird one. He just kind of... He came out of nowhere and went back to sleep. Okay, supposedly we should go talk to Julian and Selena. I think we can save it for next time though. Yeah, we'll just leave here and see what's going on outside. I want to do some quests while we can. 8.30? Will the noon wraiths be out? Because that's pretty early in the morning. Yeah, let's check out what quests we have now because we got a lot of updates. Alvin, we should go talk to Julian about this one. Okay, dice poker, I beat Dandelion, I need two more sharpers. Fist fighting, I beat the rocks. Oh, I'm looking for the rocks teacher in the swamp cemetery. Is that around here? Where is that? I don't know where that is. Oh, I'm here right now. Oh, that's really far. Is that Vizima? Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that anytime soon. Old habits die hard. Oh, that's the... That's me fighting Zephyr to get the necklace for the Nyad. Oh, Nyad is uh, a type of creature. 
I thought that was her name. Hmm. Ripples. The humans and the Varyanoi seem to be in conflict. Another witcher agreed to solve the problem, but then did nothing. They say I can find him in the crypt. It's Berengar. Temptation. The blacksmith's wife asked me to get rid of the succubus that haunts her husband. She wants nine handfuls of shimmering dust. Alp contract, devourer contract, giant centipede, heat of the day. The plot thickens. I meet a young man named Adam, who is nice enough, but who is also thoroughly infatuated with Elena. Secretly in love with her, actually. I'll ask Dandelion to talk some sense into the boy. The royal wyvern contract. Three eggs. Witcher's secrets. I've dismantled Salamandra and Vizima. I should wait until Ada calms down and catch my second wind. So my understanding is that I'm pretty much chilling out in the lakeside for now, just to uh, catch my breath and wait till everything calms down in Vizima. But everyone else is still in Vizima. Okay, well, I mean, it's like a vacation. I'll treat it like one. Oh, is that an Eternal Fire Shrine? Wow, that brings back memories of the uh, outskirts. Hello. Ooh. So if I want to find these noon wraiths, where would I be going? Where am I now? Oh, I'm back to the... I'm wrapping back around here. Yeah, we saw some devourers here last night. And giant centipedes. So, logically, if we want to find noon wraiths, they should be around here too, right? I kind of don't want to use a campfire right now because I still got some effects left on my um, sword, which I can't bring out right now. Okay, it's kind of weird. There's nothing here for miles. Oh, someone's there. Han. Oh, god damn it. Gotta clear my inventory there. Hmm. Well, we'll leave it alone for now. Hello? Mason. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. Well, there's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The river ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Hmm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. So we come back during the night time then. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans or a book about spectres and the king of the wild hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch. But she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. Hmm. Okay. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, oh I gotta go ask Abigail. Is that your son? Sir? Why do you think the Griggs are your troublemakers? I witnessed Griggs gallivanting about the divine statue by the bridge. They see the bridge as their territory. How about talking to them? Even if I could ward off the night demons, it would be pointless. Griggs don't speak with humans. What is a Grig? I don't think we have that entry here. So I don't even have any concept of what we're talking about right now. No, we don't have it. Sir? How long will the repairs take? About a month, if the Griggs kept away. Oh, God. A month for a few small cracks? Not only repairs, I'll, I'll make it wider. The River Ghosts will have the finest bridge in Temeria. Oh, fair enough. Farewell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Abigail, so we don't have to ask him about that. I definitely should. <laughs> Greetings, sir. Never mind the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honest... Geralt. 
How are you with the bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. Yes? Don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, the doors wouldn't close. The stairs are such that even the cat fears them, and when it rains... I see. Besides, I prefer to use my bow. One day, I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck. Yes? It's good to have dreams. Farewell. Okay, well, guys, keep at it. I'll be cheering for you. Oh, where is this bridge? Over here. Yeah, so I feel like there is something here. Is that where the elven camp? Wait, what? Tavern? Oh! Tavern and inn are different? Well, I guess we're going to the tavern today, huh? Yeah, there's not much else here anyway, right? Whoa! Okay. That's... Ugh, all those ravens. What the hell? Runes. Wine stone. That seems like it could be useful. Oh. Oh, I gotta make that, um, yeah, the Kikimor's ire soon to get rid of this stuff. There's a random dead body here. That doesn't. Seems kind of ominous. Giant centipede. Can I please bring out my sword? Here we go. Oh, come on. Sometime today. We needed something from the centipedes, right? For the contract. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure when we get whatever we need, it'll tell us. So, I'm not even gonna bother looking it up. Come on! It doesn't really move from that one spot. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Is it dead? Yes, it is. Dang, that was... That was some effort. Yeah, we needed this. We needed four of this. Oh, crap. Oh my god. Got way too much crap here. I'm gonna have to drop... Maybe a Kikimore Claw? Something that I don't have too much of. High right. Yeah, I guess I'll drop the Kikimore Claw for now. Hopefully we don't need it. Ugh. I forgot to sell that stuff when I was at the merchant, or- Oh, no, no, no! Oh, this one goes here! Okay, that's- that's a different problem altogether. Just drop some food, whatever. There you go, there you go. I'll have that back. Kikimor's Claw. Can I have it back? Oh, I picked it up. Okay, sure. I'll eat some of the food too, just cause we have so much. They look around. They're not really as numerous as I thought they would be though. Giant centipedes. Monsters being around here in general. Maybe it's because it's daytime right now. No noon wraiths yet because it's not noon. Only 9 a.m. Skeleton. Interesting. This body has been here long, but something keeps the bones from disintegrating. Maybe we can ask Abby about that, huh? Basket? Just alcohol and stuff? Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's a secret magical spot here. Where are we going now? Oh! Did you see that? There was a crowd of... Oh, wolves around here. That's fine. We don't need to talk to wolves. Just ignore them for now. Anything else going on here? There's the village again. Oh, and now we're leaving if we go this way. 
Okay, well, before we leave, I'm gonna see what's going on up here. Yeah, so if we turn this way... We can also talk to Julian at the same time and Dandelion, if they're still at the inn. And we can sell some stuff, yeah. Oh! Oh! What's going on here? Selena and Julian. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. I'd like to talk to you. I'm in no mood. Okay, then why did you come up to me? God. What the heck are you explaining to Alina? <laughs> I don't know what you wanted to explain. We can also talk to Abby here. Yeah, look at how different this place is now that it's morning. Completely different. What do you want? Harn the Mason sent me. That good for nothing. He sealed my chimney, and ever since it's either cold as winter or foggy as fall in here. I wager work on the bridge isn't progressing. Exactly. Why would he need a witcher and witch? At night, Griggs destroy the bridge Harn must then repair in daytime. Unruly Griggs indeed. Doubtless he tried to avenge himself and they've taken offense. Any way to help them reconcile? Recover their treasure. Treasure? Another tribe of Griggs inhabits the crypt in the fields. Evil sort. This tribe stole the greatest treasure of our Griggs, a cat harness. Cat harness? Indeed. Like humans ride horses, Griggs ride cats. Go to that crypt and recover the harness, then return to me. Where is the harness? In the chapel, which resembles a miniature sculpture of a saint, like the ones they place at crossroads. Oh. How do you know this? I could say I read it in some chicken entrails, but the truth is more trite. A certain Grig has fallen in love with me. He informs <laughs> me of happenings in the area. Are you kidding? No matter. Thanks. <laughs> well, we have a lot of love problems here, don't we? Where even is the crypt here? Is it not on this map? Oh, maybe it's this right here. Oh. What do you want? Uh, yeah, we can ask. Where is the Griggs crypt? The entrance lies in the fields. Once inside, look for a small santon. Within you should find the harness. Then return here. Can you remember that? I'll try. Hmm. <laughs> can I use your shop? Okay. Yeah, I think it might be that spot that we're looking at on the map. What do you want? Your shop. Yes, I need to sell some of this stuff. Uh, I'll just sell whatever, randomly. Yeah. These ones. Pyrite. 30. Scimitar jaw. Winestone. I don't know what we should sell or not. Basically, the only thing that I don't want to sell is stuff that will help me make a swallow potion. But I'm finding that I pretty much don't care about what ingredients I keep or not. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad thing, I don't know. Beanwed. Five each. Crow's eye. 20 each. White vinegar, have it. Ginatza's acid from the drowners. It's worth so much. Oh my gosh. Drowner brains? Yeah. Kiki more claw, we'll sell it. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're good for now. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail. I'll be back. I'll be back. Julian left in a hurry, so I don't even know where he is now. Maybe he went back home?
Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Oh, yeah. I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Oh, my Quit God. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. Wow. Maybe, yeah, that amulet. Maybe we need to give Alvin it right away because, yeah, it's probably something that will help him control the powers. Moonwraiths? And hey, Nonsense. look at how many people are here now. Gambler. Yeah, screw them all. Ooh, you're a lady. A lady gambler. That might be a first. Yes? Are you a sharper? So, you like to gamble? I love gambling. Female gamblers are rare. So are interesting men. If you don't care to play, leave. I'll play you all right. Stand still. Oh, you're weak. You're weak, aren't you? Whatever, Ted Horns. I win. <laughs> I win. Yeah, I don't think she's a sharper, but we'll entertain her. Two pairs? I still win. Yeah, and I'll I'll roll that. Maybe I'll get something even better. Full house? Oh my god. Such good luck today. Against someone who doesn't really matter though, so... Uh. Well, that's that. You fight like a lash. Yes? It's time I was on my way. Oh, well. Oh, Dandelion giving free shows. Oh, I love Julian! Your mother sucks to oh. cock. Geralt? I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? He's got a point. Because Alvin just came out of nowhere. I don't think I would want to adopt a kid that came out of nowhere either. Farewell. Especially one that's magical and hard to control. Geralt? Did I not ask him about that? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Sometime. No, I did. No, don't. Yeah. I, I, Be careful. I will. Gerald? Thank you. See ya. All right. We had something for the innkeeper as well, didn't we? Can I help you? How, do you? How can I help? I saw your notice. Ah, I no, need not you. eggs for my famous omelets. I'll bring you back as many as I can. There's a big demand for my omelets. I already did one of the contracts, but I don't remember which one it was. Alps? No. I should go back to Alina and explain everything. Explain what? Selena's pursuing Julian, but Julian doesn't care. Okay, well that's, that's good to know. Um. Oh, maybe I handed it in already, because I don't see anything that... Yeah, I think it was for Julian, but we already looked at it earlier. Okay, fine. How could she drink it Ooh! Alcohol. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, Traveler. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias... Yeah. The underwater lake waters engulfed the underwater city. We've seen this. Vodianoi? An ancient underwater race. We used to respect each other, but relations have worsened. Tell me about them. They appeared long ago before the city was engulfed. They live in underwater palaces. They like produce Atlantis. tools and baubles, including the famous stones of Is, supposedly magical. 
Their warriors, though fierce in battle, seldom attack on land. They chiefly drive away treasure hunters. An underwater race of rational beings. Interesting. The Water Lords are nigh. Julian is a treasure hunter, I think, so maybe that's where some of the problems between the relations of the humans around here and the Vaudianoi come from. 